all of these experiences I'm talking about are teaching moments. And these are things that, you know, I carry with me. And these are things that I always continue to think about sometimes whenever I see, you know, people younger than me kind of making some of the same mistakes I did. Um, it was with Dave Douglas and we were in, uh, we were on this tour in the U.S. I think we were gone for maybe some three weeks or something like that. And uh, this was back when touring was actually kind of, you know, I caught the tail end of, uh, you know, doing these long tours and things like that. So we're in the third week and we're in Chicago. It was very, very cold uh, outside. We had a day off. He invited me to lunch one time and he said, so how are you feeling? You know, I said, oh, man, I feel great. You know, like, like very, you know, <laughs> just kind of, you know, just, you know, this air of confidence or whatever that's there, you know, and, and, uh, and then he was like, well, how do you think you sound in the band? <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, I, th I think I've done some, you know, I think I could be a better drummer and I think I could do certain things better and I could do, you know, I could play this thing better. Or I could play this rhythm or I could make it more hip by doing this. And he was like, first of all, let me tell you something. I don't care what you sound like. I care what the band sounds like. And you need to care what the band sounds like also, because that's your responsibility you know, as a drummer, you have to, you have to, you know, if you're the drummer, you have to play the drums, but you also have to be aware of what you're doing, you know, in the band and everything. Stop paying attention to what you're playing and get out of your head and pay attention to what you're doing. You know, pay attention to how everybody else in the band is responding. Pay attention if you, if you, you know, he's basically telling me to pay attention and, and to, you know, get out of my own head and everything and stop being so concerned about what I was doing, you know, for myself and concern myself with making the whole band sound good. And, you know, of course, I learned from that meeting and, and from watching other greats really do it and everything. Like, I finally got it. You know what I mean? It's like, OK, well, you know, yes, our job as drummers is to, you know, of course, make a lot of things happen in the music and to really move the music forward and that kind of thing and move things along and do all kinds of wonderful things. But at the same time, um, we have to make everybody in the band around us, you know, sound better, you know what I mean? And we, we have to do that and we have to, you know, deal with the instrument in a way that is more about, more about giving than it is about, you know, trying to push people. You know, you don't want to be combat combative behind a drum set and everything, and that was my approach in those days. And so, that experience with him in Chicago also opened a lot of doors for me because now sometimes I see drummers doing the same thing, and it's like, man, what, what, why are you concerned about what you're doing? Like, you, you need you need to respond to everything else. This is communication. This is not a thing where you do this and everybody else has to respond to you. That's that's not how this works, you know. And so, uh, so experiences like that, you know, I, I try to bring, you know, moments that I've experienced in my own life. And, you know, I like, just like I'm telling you this story, I tell everybody else this story too. And it's like, you know, I think stories are what help people uh, really get deeper inside of themselves, you know, rather than me telling people what to do. I think stories is what, you know, sort of ingrains this, um, sort of information or whatever into one's into one's mind you know